Hello, I'm Eric Broadbent, Director of Sales, Parts and Service for North America for Kinsey Manufacturing. And with me, I've got Justin Render, our Product Specialist for Grain Carts and Mock Till. Hello all. We're here to tell you a little bit about what to expect from Grain Carts for model year 23. We haven't quite opened up order writing just yet, but as soon as we do, we've got some exciting enhancements for you and Justin's going to tell you all about those. Yeah, as you can see behind us, we got our 1121 that's going to the Farm Progress Show. We're going to zoom in on some of those features that are unique for model year 23 release. All right, so breaking down some of those 23 model improvements that we're having, we're continuing to go through that easy clean out, easier maintenance aspects you guys have been asking for as the customer base. We're just improving on some of those that did not take place in 22 to go with those uh, dump doors across the belly or that grease bank. So we've added to both of those. One of those being our slide gate. So very similar to like the 40 series grain cleanouts we had, we're going back to that toolless design that we had with the 40 series. So no more needing to find a wrench or a socket to take all the bolts off the cover to clean out that grain transition. So as you can see below here, we've got two large wing nuts um, that you can be tightened plenty good by hand, but if you need to, you can tighten them with pliers. I'm going to loosen them up to show the action of the slide gate. So you can take that float out. Uh, everything is funneled down, so this grain box has changed a little bit to allow the grain to flow down more. It's no longer that radius that you're used to seeing, so we have a flat transition plate that really funnels it down to us. One of the next things that you'll see besides this, we've added our hanger bearing in the center of that uh, lower vertical that has been a problem to climb up and grease is now added to our grease bank. So you'll see one other grease cert and up above, uh, we've got a tube that comes in and feeds that backside from what we call the helicopter, that mounting piece that hangs that. So both of these features, although different kind of locations, on our dual auger carts, we'll have that same feature set. So same type of slide gate uh, that's on that front axle or right behind the front hitch on our uh, corner dual auger carts, we'll have that same slide gate action to it. We also have the same uh, upper or lower vertical center bearing that'll be greased through the grease bank as well. So we talked about the slide gate on the, the grain transfer. Also wanted to make note of the inspection covers. So both the corner dual augers or the 1321 through the 1721 as well as the 1121 are utilizing these large wing nuts to allow access to that uh, inspection cover. So as you know on the dual corner augers we've got that vertical or the horizontal auger with the cover on it, it would have that same access point to get inside. So when we need to get to things, they can very rapidly be taken off and we don't have to go back to the truck or the service truck or the toolbox to go find what's needed to be able to take them off. So we can do that in the field or at ease at any point, wherever you're at with just your hands. We've also brought back the row crop axle. Uh, as most of you guys know, there's a very limited uh, customer group that uses this, primarily our custom harvesters. The reason being is they utilize that linkage for mechanical advantage while they're loading the trucks. So they'll pull their truck up with the tractor and the cart still hooked up. We'll drive it onto the trailer and that gives us the area to allow that outside tire to drop off, which then mechanically lowers this cart about six inches to give them a better transport and easier movement down the road. You guys will notice too, we've also included a grease bank. So that was one of our biggest feedback items was it's hard to get inside there and grease all the pins and do the maintenance. So over time, uh, it just doesn't get done or it doesn't get done in the proper uh, cadences that it should be. So allowing that to continue to function properly, allow those joints to move freely while you're going through the field. One other thing that we've had uh, feedback on in the past was the ease of maintenance. So to get to that inside tire is very difficult. Well, we added a, a hinge or a pivot point on here. So we would let our backside go. We would jack this cart up and then you can roll that axle out to be able to service that inside tire. Say for example, it needed to be changed or we had a flat or needed to be uh, fixed in some way. We have that ability now to do that very quickly. And our goal was to be able to access and service this tire under a half hour. So you guys will notice these funky green wires that are coming down there. And what that is is a SOMAT system that we utilize in our test engineering department. So this will go through a, re a 10 year regression test to make sure it stands up to you guys in the field. So this is not part of our standard, uh, just we're getting ready to do some bump track and field track testing on it, uh, just to let you guys know what those 
crazy green wires are, but it's part of our test procedure to make sure when it gets to the field for you guys, it's constantly up and going and it meets those expectations that you customers have in us at Kinsey. So to go a little bit more in depth, we've got this display that we're gonna use at the Farm Progress Show where I can show off some of the features that we've got with this, the new row crop. So one of those things, the feedback items that we were given by customers and dealers was, if say something happens to the inside of the tire, you have to jack the whole card up and then take the whole bow tie assembly out. So what we've done is added a hinge point to allow us to swing all this weight out where then you can easily get to the inside tire and be able to do perform maintenance aspects or features to be able to pull this tire off, get it repaired, get it replaced, any maintenance items that need to be done to that hub. But while we're at that angle as well, you can see how we've changed the maintenance points to all these different pin assemblies off of that grease bank as we showed earlier to, to ease that maintenance aspect to it. As well as if we needed to do any disassembly, we have this swing out feature that's available too if that so fits the customer. So wanted to go a little bit more in depth on how all this, uh, the changes for 23 are coming. Big thing being that being able to access this inside tire perform maintenance at under 30 minutes. The hardest part is finding something to jack the cart up with, getting that stable. Once we do that, we take off all the hardware on the end of the bow tie frame, then we can swing it out of the way, get to what we need. So the tires we're using on the row crop axle is a 480-80-42, very common in the industry. So you shouldn't have any problems finding those if you have to perform maintenance on this particular row crop axle. Thanks, Justin, for that great walk around and showing us all the things that we can expect for 2023 model your grain carts. Yeah. Get in touch with your dealers as the order period is opening soon so you can get those 23 advantages. Thank you.